Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. This spring and fall we're hosting a whole brand new series of workshops for teachers for math, science, English, and history. You should check out these workshops. We're going to be holding them in Massachusetts, in Florida, in New York, in California. Check them out. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Today we're going to be working on number 49 on the CSET Multi-Subject Math and Science Teacher Certification Exam in California. This problem involves measurement and unit conversion. It's got a little geometry thrown in. What we'll do is we'll, I'll read it over and then I'll work through some of the math behind the problem. And as I do that I want you to have your scrap sheet of paper out so you're doing these calculations on the side of the, on, on your notes you can pause this video at any time to sort of work out the calculations and see if you got the correct answer, okay? So, so let's look at number 49. It says, in some countries, area is measured in pinks. If the area of a rectangular piece of land that measures 22 feet by 27 feet is 33 pinks, how many square feet is equal to one ping? Now read that to yourself. Read it to yourself. And as you read it, you'll see words like measured, measures. We're dealing with, this is a measurement question. And uh, what else can we see here? Well, what is the measurement? We see square feet. We, we have some square feet. And we're comparing square feet to pings. Both are different ways, you know, feet. And pings are the two different types of measurements that we're going to be uh, comparing. Um, try and guess to see what country uses pings as a form of measurement. All right. We have area. So there's uh, some geometry going on. You know, and, we, and it's not just, it's area of a rectangular piece of land. So, so maybe we'll start there with our visualization. We're thinking about a rectangle. With the, and, and we're thinking about area, so area is equal to length times width of a rectangle. And this rectangular piece of land has dimensions of 22 by 27. So why don't, why don't you take a moment and, and find the area of this piece of land. Do that real quick. What's 27 times 22? Sort of, sort of work out that calculation. Um, if you don't know, if you don't know it, you, you can just do it on a, a scrap sheet of paper like I'm doing right here. On my on my uh, my notepad here, I'm just very carefully writing it out and doing it out. Two times seven is fourteen. Carry the one. Two times two is four. Plus the one is is a five. Drop down the zero. I do this out so I can get some practice with it. And if you, if you don't do the practice on your own, you're not going to learn anything. So you got to do it on your own. Two times uh, seven here is a fourteen. Carry the one again. Two times two is four. Plus the one is five. Okay, add these values up. We get, that should have been a, a 5 here. We get 594. So we find out that this area of this parcel of land is 900, 594 feet squared. And that's going to be equal to 33 pinks. Now we're trying to find out how many square feet is one ping. So we're going to have to do some division here. Divide by 33. Divide by 33. This will get us one ping. And again, you have some um, um, number sense and operation work that you have to do. To uh, to you have to divide 594 by 33. Don't assume that you can do that necessarily in your head. Take that extra uh, 30 seconds and do 594 divided by 33 and see if you can work it out. Well, 33 doesn't go into 5, but it goes into 59 once. So 1 times 33 is 33. Subtract that from the 59. All right, got to be very careful with your calculations here. 33 doesn't go into 26, so I, carry, I drop down the 4. 33 goes into 264. Well, I could guess, or I could look at my options here, and I'm going to go with 8. And that would make it an even 18. Hopefully it does. It, it goes in 8 times. And let's find out. 8 times 3 is 24. Carry the 2. 8 times 3 again is another 24 plus the 2 is 26. Look at that. It works out. 33 goes into 594 18 times. 
So you could say that um, one ping, one ping is equal to um, 18 feet squared. The answer is B. If I wanted to do this problem really quickly, I didn't have a lot of time, I was kind of rushing, I could approximate, I could be like the, the, the dimensions of this rectangle is approximately 20 by 30, and I could get 20 by 30 is equal to 600, and this 33 pings is approximately 30 pings, so I got 600 feet is equal to 30 pings, and divide by 30 here, I get one ping here, I get 600 divided by 30, reduced by a factor of 10, 60 divided by 3 gets 20. I'd get an approximately uh, 20 feet squared is equal to 1 ping, which is really close to B as well. Okay team, that's two ways to solve number 49. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Have a great day. Take care.